Hello students, I am Dr. Amit Bhatnagar, working as Senior Research Officer in the Department of Agronomy at GB Panth University of Agriculture and Technology, Panthnagar, Uttarakhand. In this lecture, I will tell you about the quantity of nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium which is obtained after the application of FYM or vermicompost. When we apply the FYM or compost or vermicompost, so how much quantity of nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium is released into the soil and how much is available? These organics contain all the essential nutrients, but the major one is micronutrients, zinc, copper, magnesium are also present, but in little quantity. And actually, these organics supply nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium in more quantity as compared to the micronutrients. So, our more emphasis is on NPK because their requirement is more. So, we apply uh, FYM compost in organic farming or integrated management or in conventional farming also. So, how much quantity of this organic is applied? how much nutrient content is there and how much is released in first season and the second season. So, these organics that we apply in the VM compost, how much NPK is there and how much plants are available to apply in the VM compost. If we talk about uh, FYM or compost, so uh, in general, this contains about 0.5% uh, nitrogen and uh, 0.2% phosphorus and about 0.4 to 0.5% approximate 0.5% potassium. So uh, suppose it is 0.4% potassium. I am not taking 0.5% because both will be similar. So to make a difference, uh, I have taken this 0.4% potassium, maybe 0.5% approximate. So 0.5% nitrogen means if we it means percent is per cent, cent means 100, so in 100, so in 100 it is 0 0.5, 0 0.5 percent means in 100 kg it is only 0 0.5 kg, 1 percent means 1 out of 100, 0 0.5 percent ka matlab ye hai ki 100 mein keval 0.5 hai, 1 percent ka matlab ye hai ki 100 kg mein keval 1 hai, it is 0 0.5 percent, it means if we apply 100 kg this FYM or compost, then it supply 0 0.5 kg nitrogen and 0 0.2 kg phosphorus and 0 0.4 kg potassium this is a simple calculation in because in percentage then it is out of 100 okay and we apply the fym compost etc in ton so in one ton there is a in one ton there is 1000 kg and one quintal 100 kg remember it 1 quintal 100 kg and 1 ton 1000 kg and we apply FYM in ton so it means we have to calculate in 1000 kg so in 1000 kg just multiplied by 10 so 5 kg nitrogen we get 0. Point, sorry 2 kg phosphorus and 4 kg potassium now it is 1000 kg means 1 ton. So it is now 1 ton. I can write it as 1 ton. This is the amount we get from 1 ton FYM or compost. And the application rate is generally 10 to 20 ton per hectare. So in general we apply 10 ton per hectare. We are applying 10 ton per hectare. Then by the application of 10 ton, we get 50 kg nitrogen multiplied by 10, 20 kg. P2O5, phosphorus and 40 kg potassium. So this is the amount which is present in 10 ton FYM. Suppose we are applying 20 ton FYM. Suppose 20 ton FYM. It is a huge quantity and apply in orchards or uh, long duration crop. 10 ton is then it is 100 kg nitrogen. Oh sorry, two times. It just double 50 kg, 40 kg phosphorus and 80 kg potassium. So 20 ton application of FYM provides 100 kg nitrogen. This is 100 kg nitrogen, okay, 40 kg phosphorus and 80 kg potassium. This is but too much quantity. So in general, farmers apply only 10 ton because of their availability. Availability is also the problem. So 20 ton we can apply, but the major problem is availability. So in general, farmer apply 10 ton FYM. Suppose farmer are applying 10 ton FYM, 
then this 10 ton uh, will provide 10 ton will provide now it is 50 kg nitrogen plus 40 kg phosphorus plus it uh, sorry 20 kg this is 20 kg this one this one and this one 20 kg phosphorus plus 40 kg potassium so this is by FYL now suppose so this is the uh, amount of NPK besides their micronutrients are also present and they are in small quantity so our emphasis on NPK because they are requiring large quantity now if we are applying the vermicompost then in case of vermicompost first we have to know what is the nutrient content in case of vermicompost nitrogen content is about 2 to 3 percent 2 to 3 percent nitrogen it depends upon the uh, uh, what is the material used for preparation of compost suppose it is 3 percent nitrogen 3 percent nitrogen and phosphorus is 1 to 1.5 percent and so, uh, suppose it is 1 percent phosphorus and potassium is 1.5 to 2 percent suppose it is 1.5 percent potassium this is not the fixed it depends upon the what is the material from which we are making worm compost. Worm compost बनाने के लिए हमने कौन सा material use किया है, कौन सी खाद, कौन सी पत्ती, कौन से हमने crop residue use किया है, किस crop के, उस पर depend करता है. So this is the in general, okay? So it means 3% means if we are applying 100 kg, simple calculation is that only 3 kg nitrogen, 1 kg phosphorus and 1.5 kg potassium. So for 1000 kg that is equivalent to 1 ton just multiplied by 10 30 kg nitrogen 10 kg phosphorus and 15 kg potassium this is a simple calculation now 1000 kg is equal to 1 ton so we can write it as 1 ton and the application rate of vermicompost is about 5 ton suppose you are applying 5 ton it is general uh, recommended rate we can uh, increase or decrease the dose but is the in general dose so multiplied by 5 because it is 5 times so 35 the uh, it is 150 kg nitrogen plus 50 kg phosphorus and 75 kg potassium so this is the amount of 5 ton fym so we can write here it as 5 ton vermicompost provide 150 kg nitrogen plus 50 kg P2O5 plus 75 kg potassium. Now look here that the application rate of this is 10 ton it is only 5 ton so application rate is just half vermi compost ko keval aadhi quantity mein dal rahe hain but the nitrogen content is about 3 times we get 3 times more nitrogen phosphorus about 2.5 times more phosphorus and it is uh, approximate also uh, 1.5 times we can say uh, approximate about 2 times approximate approximate 2 times so application rate is less less application but the nutrient quantity is two to three times more it means vermicompost compost is more beneficial as compared to fym compost so bulk quantity first for application problem is there mixing problem inhalation problem vermicompost compost five ton can be easily mixed so that's why vermicompost compost has several advantage over the fym nutrient rich so this is the amount but when we apply the nutrient uh, this sorry this FYO compost or compost these are uh, mineralized into the soil then nutrients are released so this nutrient release is slow the, after the just application nutrients are not released so FYM compost or varying compost which nutrients are not released in the mineralization hota hai, bacteria usme work karte hai, decomposition hota hai, uska to nutrient release hota hai. So, nutrient release no time lagta hai, mahina, mahina, mahina. suppose you are applying in kharib season then some nutrients are released in kharib season and some in uh, ravi season in winter season so there is a release okay so you are applying in curry season 
and or we can say rainy season okay and then there is residual effect is also in ravi season that is in winter season nutrients are released so in first year in that is the first crop we can say this is the first crop and this is the second crop and organics always applied in kharif season organics ko hum kharif season mein apply karte hain by compost ko in india because temperature is high uh, moisture availability is there rainfall is there so it helps in decomposition jaadon mein nahi karte jaadon mein टेम्परेचर बहुत कम होता है उन एरिया में जहाँ जाड़ों में टेम्परेचर कम है वहाँ ऑर्गेनिक्स को अप्लाई नहीं करते बट इन साउथ इंडिया टेम्परेचर इज रिलेटिवली हाई वी कैन अप्लाई द ऑर्गेनिक्स इन विंटर सीजन तो हाई टेम्परेचर अबाउट थर्टी टू थर्टी फाइव डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड गुड अमाउंट ऑफ रेनफॉल इज रिक्वायर्ड मीन सॉइल मॉइस्चर इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर डिकम्पोजन इफ दिस कंडीशन प्रिवलेंट इन विंटर सीजन देन वी कैन अपलाई इन साउथ इंडिया दिस कंडीशन प्रिवलेंट साउथ इंडिया में ऐसी कंडीशन होती है हाई टेम्परेचर रहता है रेनफॉल रहती है तो हम अप्लाई कर सकते हैं बट इन इन जनरल इन होल इंडिया इन खरीफ सीजन टेम्परेचर इज हाई रेनफॉल इज देयर सो वेरी गुड डिग कम्पोजिशन तो इसलिए हम खरीफ सीजन में ही इनको अप्लाई करते हैं तो इन फर्स्ट क्रॉप द ऑल द न्यूट्रिएंट्स आर नॉट रिलीज अबाउट थर्टी परसेंट नाइट्रोजन इज रिलीज एंड अबाउट सिक्सटी टू सेवेंटी परसेंट अप्रॉक्सीमेट सिक्सटी परसेंट फॉस्फोरस इज रिलीज एंड सेवेंटी परसेंट पोटेशियम इज रिलीज सो इट मीन्स द होल टोटल नाइट्रोजन इज फिफ्टी के जी we are applying 50 kg nitrogen through vermi compost only 30% is released so how much is released 30% means 0.3 now it is uh uh, uh approximate ye aayega 15 kg 15 kg nitrogen and phosphorus is 20 kg so it is 0.6 is equal to और ट्वेल्व के जी फॉस्फोरस एंड पोटेशियम इज फोर्टी के जी सो रिलीज इज सिक्सटीन के जी सो दिस इज द रिलीज इन फर्स्ट ईयर सो नेक्स्ट अमाउंट इज रिलीज इन विंटर सीजन सो होल न्यूट्रिय आर नॉट अवेलेबल टू इन फर्स्ट सीजन क्रॉप सो रेस्ट इज अवेलेबल इन रवि सीजन विंटर सीजन क्रॉप सो दिस इज द अमाउंट देन दिस इज द Uh, availability of the nutrient. Okay, then if it is vermi compost, so in case of vermi compost, uh, approximate we can calculate similarly by uh, this is the amount and more nitrogen is released in case of vermi compost because C N ratio is less, so more nitrogen released in first year. So this is the amount of the nutrient which is present and available in first year season. So this was the calculation of uh, vermi compost, F Y M, etc. so we now we can calculate if we increase the amount of fym then more amount is released so it it is the in general average value so these are the average value basis so this average value depends upon the what is the material from which this compost or fym or vermicompost is made thank you very much